Hey, hey Matt, you want to go on a ride? <laughs> yes. Very much so. It's, it's only... It's only the third time I've asked you that question. Um, so I'm going to do a quick intro, which was uh, the other day, uh, Matt asked me if we wanted to go for a ride, and I, I thought about the, the obstacles we'd have to go through to make that work, which is I'd have to either drive like seven hours to you, or we have to meet somewhere in the middle, and you proposed that, uh, why don't we just do this virtually, and I thought, is that some weird sex thing? And you were like, no. <laughs> we'll, we'll just have multiple GoPros going at the same time, and then we'll just edit them together. So uh, I guess this is our first attempt at a, uh, a virtual group ride. A quarantine, a quarantine ride. Yeah, a quarantine ride. Hey, that's a, good, that's a good starting point. So I think everyone knows at this point that you're in upstate New York. Uh, people that don't know you should just watch all the Trans Labrador videos, and that'll probably fill them in on who you are, um, yeah. and maybe watch the the Ontario ride video we did together last May. That's another refresher. Yeah, well, I'm on an uh, event rider under BB82 Bird, but I can't seem to switch that over to North Wheel, <laughs> which is my YouTube account. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if you could send them a like a send them admins a message. Have you tried? No, no, I, I'm very computer illiterate. Oh, <laughs> just uh, sending, um, I, I feel like I know all the admins on a, a first name basis because I keep breaking the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm mad at me on there, I was selling a bike for my brother and uh, cause he can't, his internet's wonky we're at his house, but I had my, my KTM, uh, my 2013 KTM 690 and he had the identical bike. And mine had a bunch of motor issues and I rebuilt it and sold it off. And then like a month, like a week later, I put his up for sale. And then there was a lot of people going, well, it has motor issues. I'm like, no, that was a different bike. And they went back and forth. That's so many people looking at it. And they, I think a lot of people thought I was scamming them. But in all reality, I was, there was actually two 2013 KTM 690 Endurals that we were trying to get rid of. Well, and, and to be honest, if I didn't know you, I would have thought the same thing because I saw another thread pop up and I'm thinking, does he have a second 690? And it was like, it was confusing, right? But I I, I, I understand behind the scenes what was going on. Well, I didn't realize people would be following it that closely or like try to research me to to see what my past <laughs> posts were. But apparently they did because I granted that so many problems and I'm just like, how do all these people know? I took that ad down. How are they fighting this? <laughs> Well, I, I think there's probably about a hundred of us on Adventure Rider that click on every single 690 adventure for sale, uh, enduro, just to just to just to make sure because like I, I I click every one of those because one of these days I'll find one that's priced so damn well I won't be able to pass it up. <laughs> well, my mine went for 4,500, so it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, I regret it. I regret my, regret selling it. Man, that thing was so much fun. I'll, I'll get a I'll get something else like it eventually. Yeah. I'll have to wait. Uh, oh, what are you, what are you uh, riding today? I am riding my 1982 CB900F Super Sport. <laughs> I, I gotta say, I really enjoyed the video uh, you put up last week on that, just because you know you said something that really resonated with me, which was um, you you had one, but you never got to ride it on the street, so you had to buy another one, even if like you eventually realized it was a shitty bike all along. At least you, you know. You had to go through it as an adult, basically. Yeah, I, had, I wanted the, just the experience of owning it. My wife said to me the other day, that, is a, that was the dumbest purchase you've ever made. Because I bought it, drove it to work, <laughs> came home, like, ah, I'm selling it. <laughs> like, you drove it to work once, I'm like, yeah, not my cup of tea. <laughs> now, what, what's, the, what's the problem with this? Is it, is it, are you just too big for it? No, well, it's the upright seating position is neutral. Like, from the shoulders to the handlebars, very relaxed. The legs are really more tucked than I realized these old CB bikes were, you know, more of a super sport of their area, era, which is which is fine. I mean, it's, it's fun to flow around in this, it's a heavy sports bike, really. But my <laughs> my biggest problem with it is, 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 is my, uh, my town bike, the bike I want to just bomb around town and you know not go on any long trips and I want it to be yeah. 
It can be slow, as long as it's slow and it sounds good. And it looks good. And I don't mind the look of this, but I like the looks of the, like the air-cooled Triumph 900 line better. And I like the set. Oh, yeah. Like the, my, I had an old Scrambler. I liked a, a 2014 Scrambler air-cooled Triumph. But, and I like the sound of that a lot better and the look of it a lot better. And if I'm just going to have a, a bomb around bike, I'd rather it be an old Scrambler with that, I hate to say Harley sound, but, you know, that the thumper sound, I guess, versus the inline four. Yep. I mean, like so yeah, so do you think, do you feel like everyone should have a standard, you know, bum around town bike? Oh, absolutely. You can't have just one bike. <laughs> well, I, I gotta say, watching that video, the, this thing sounds amazing. It seems like it just keeps pulling and pulling forever. Oh, it, I, uh, if you're into, there's a, I got a biker on the side of the road here, and he's actually riding a bike that I'm going down Friday to buy for my wife. He's on a Kawasaki Vulcan S. Oh yeah, we gotta get to that for sure because uh, the last time you were at my place, no, the, the, two times ago, uh, I know that she had expressed an interest in it and you were talking about different bike styles that she would be interested in. Uh, and it seems like she wanted to start with a, a low displacement, uh, almost like a standard cruiser hybrid. And you guys ended up pulling the trigger on a Vulcan that was a good size for her. Well, she didn't really have, she doesn't have much of a preference. She, I mean, other than she hates chrome. So no matter what bike I showed her, if it had a chrome exhaust, I don't care what it was, I hate that. So <laughs> yeah. my, my, my choices were a little limited just on what other the exhaust pipes were. I know that sounds stupid, <laughs> but this isn't, this, I'm, I'm working her into it. She, this isn't like her, if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't be involved in this at all. But. Uh, and, and she, you, you both aren't really chrome shiners. You're not going to sit out there and polish it at all, are oh, you? Oh, goodness, no. I got sod hanging from my GS in the garage. It's been there for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's like mine. I, I, I just, on Sunday, was like, man, this thing looks like shit. Because, like, all down the swing arm, it's just caked mud all on top of the exhaust pipe. So I, I, I sprayed it down with a hose. And then the very next day, a guy's like, hey, you want to go riding out in the woods? And I got that home. It looks exactly the same. It's like, why don't I... Why did I even clean it off? <laughs> oh, man. So I just provided you with a crap ton of editing. <laughs> My phone's right in front of me, and it keeps turning on with your phone number on it. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's okay. I'll, uh, I'll have to... Um, Smurts. I, I think as long as, it's a, as, long as, as long as it's a fixed plane, what I can do is I can uh, select it, and I think I can blur it out. If not, we'll just... Uh, I don't, I don't know. We'll insert a video of uh, something stupid. I don't. I don't know. We'll make it work. <laughs> oh man. Um, anyway, yeah. So I, I think that the 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 the, the wife riding thing is going to be a lot of. It's either going to be a hell of a lot of fun, or it's just not going to happen. And at least she tries. Yeah. Well, she's. I met so many girls like her at the rallies that ride their own bikes that are very independent, very like to do their own thing, which is my wife to a T, but she, uh, here, I'm going to actually stop and flip my phone over so it doesn't keep off and on. Yeah. But she, get this. if it's upside down, you can't read it, right? <laughs> <laughs> it says boobs. Yeah. So, so now you're going to be staring at the back of an iPhone. <laughs> but she, uh, oh, I forgot where I was. Well, you said your wife's super independent. Oh, yeah. I met so many girls at the rallies that are like that. Really independent, really love riding. And I've always told her, like, hey, this is this is something you could really get into if you could get your head around just riding a motorcycle. And uh, yeah. she's like, yep, well, whatever. And then my dad went with me to the GMR last year, and he met a bunch of the girls. And he's like, he come up to me one, one night before we left. He goes... If your wife could figure out how to ride a bike, she would get addicted to this. These girls are just like her. I'm like, I know, I've been telling her that forever. So, <laughs> so dad, dad, you know, made that comment to her, and she's, she's like, well, I've always been curious about it, but she, I didn't want to send you on a tangent and get, because I don't want to hear you talk to me about it daily. <laughs> Which you know, I am a little obsessive, obsessive compulsive, I guess. 
get. Maybe you gotta do me right a. You gotta do me a favor. I get something in my mind. When she. Uh, and I don't let go of it till. If happens, she takes so. her first ride. She didn't. She didn't um, even want I think to tell I lost me she was curious there. about it. <laughs> Well, when she takes her first motorcycle ride and she really enjoys it, you can say, I always knew you were bike curious. <laughs> <laughs> and just get her face just turned into a frown. <laughs> yeah. Well, even with Heather, I mean, would Heather have ever gotten into motorcycling if it wasn't for you? No, and she said that. That wasn't, you know, I didn't initiate that conversation, but she had said to me that she, uh, you know, the exposure to it is what did it, and I think that's the case a lot. I mean, look, look, look how you grew up. Grew up. It's like, you know, if you're not exposed to motorcycles, the chances of you getting into it's pretty slim. It's like if you weren't exposed to hunting growing up, you're not probably not going to be into it either. Yeah, sorry, you're, you're. Uh, I think the phone connection wasn't the greatest right there. Sorry about that. I think. I'll, are you still there? Yep, I'm here. Yeah, I think I think I said it's kind of like hunting. You know, it's if you're not exposed to hunting as a kid, you probably won't get into it. Yeah, I can. You're sorry, bud. You're breaking up pretty, pretty good. That's okay. I'll uh, I'll go faster and get back on the cell phone service. Oh, yeah, well, you start coming now. <laughs> this is the beauty of New Hampshire. There's like such shit cell phone service here. <laughs> oh, we got. Uh, I I want yes. If I rode the GS and went on some of the back roads, we'd lose service, but as long as I stay on paved roads around here, we generally have great service. Well, I can, still, I can hear you now. You should talk for a few minutes, and then once I get back into service, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll butt back in, but I'm still listening. All right. Uh, actually, I got a guy coming maybe at 6 o'clock tonight to look at buying this thing. The, the CB? Yeah. I mean, I'm asking all of a thousand dollars for it. It's pretty bad. My, the jack, the so, jacket I'm wearing right now is worth more than the bike I'm riding. <laughs> so what are you going to replace it with? Uh, I want to. I'm going to save my money maybe for a year, and I want to buy that new Scrambler 1200 Triumph as the blue one. The blue one. <laughs> The blue one. <laughs> that thing, it, it sounds so good and it's just such a, a hoot to ride. It's like just so much gobs of power and the suspension is great. It's just a lot of fun, that new Scrambler. Oh, yeah. I, I've never, I've ridden the new one, but man, I'm looking forward to it. I, I think you really enjoy it. You know what we need to do? We need to have a. I know you got that moto, moto gadget speedometer on the K bike. Yeah. The same. Yep. We should we should pull over and have a zero to sixty race. Uh, oh no, only a fifth gear. Is that again? I've only got five gears. That's all. I, well, I can do sixty in, in third, probably. Oh yeah. Uh, that's true. That's true. I'll have to figure out though how to actually set up the uh, the zero to sixty timer. It's on here, but I don't know how it works. I might have to click around a few minutes. I was saying, I don't think we just stare at the speedometer. All right, Chris, you, you said that lags a little bit under hard acceleration. Oh, that's true. That's true. I was saying, we could, yeah, uh, we could just go one, two. Let me know when you Let me know when you find a good spot. Ah, I'll, I'll turn around right here. I got a straightaway facing the other direction. I'm about to, I'm about to hit a 30 mile an hour zone, so I'll let you know when I come out of it. Uh, I'll go around. I got a car coming now. Man, the bugs, I don't know how you are, but the bugs up here are crazy. I'm sure the GoPro isn't getting we that, got but... No, no bugs yet. I, I Actually, just today, uh, we took the dog for a walk, and there was no ice in the lake for the first day in, you know, since November. Oh, dude, I, I hope you can see these on the GoPro. That's nuts. I just went through a ton of bugs. Are you getting eaten alive? No, I'm just, I'm on the side of the road waiting right now. <laughs> so... Well... It's my worst time to do this. I just enter like a 30 mile per hour uh, village zone. Oh my gosh, dude, they're... <laughs> it's just nuts. <laughs> I hope to God they come out. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see if I can figure this out. So if I go to, I have a thing here that is acceleration. It's got, it does G's, it actually does G-force. Mm -hmm. 
Zero to 100. Okay, so it looks like I can actually do a zero to 100 timer. Let me see how that works. Let me get out of this little zone here and I'll uh, I'll do it. Is your GoPro still recording? Oh yeah, I never set it off. Okay. Uh, I've got a thing where my batteries keep dying after, like, I, I think I need to replace all my GoPro batteries because they're all getting weak with voltage. Like, they're just, they're only lasting like 15 minutes on a charge nowadays. Yep. I'm still in this low speed zone. Sorry, dude. It's all right. But how's the cell phone connection? Is it better oh, now? Yeah. Okay. I've got so, uh, traffic going around me. I'm probably going to back out of doing the uh, the BDR thing for May, sorry to say, but it's just not looking very good over here. Yeah. And I see your, With all your the, video, you were talking about that. All the lockdowns and stuff. It's just not, it's just bad timing. I mean, it could really turn to a shit show if I crashed or something. Right. Well, I mean, up here, we only, we have uh, 34 cases and none of them are, I don't think at the moment any of them are hospitalized. Okay. So, and I mean, well, yeah, a lot of the areas around us are, they have real low numbers and no one, only a very few people are actually at the hospital with it. Well, I thought you guys were just one city anyway. You're not even New York State. It's just one city that matters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Lord, Lord Cuomo only worries about the city. <laughs> I haven't heard shit about Buffalo. It's like, you guys don't even exist. No, well, he, he had the... <laughs> They were sending the National Guard up here to take all the ventilators out of our hospitals to take down to the city. And, oh my God! And they were so, losing their so minds up here, just, like, "Hey, you know, like, are the hospitals or what?" They're, they're like, "This is our equipment. Our primary function is to uh, support our local area." They're like, "You know, we, they don't have no problems share, sharing with New York City, but to federally mandate that they have to turn over their equipment." Yeah. yeah, my sister works for the for the hospital in Rochester, and she's like, we're always, you know, sharing equipment and putting patients in hospitals that they can get the best care. She goes, that's just something that the hospitals do. They don't need the government to step in and make us surrender all of our equipment, you know, and have the have the Army Reserve come in and take it from us. Right. And plus, if you guys actually end up eating it in a week, it's like, screw you guys, because you, you know, all this stuff's in New York now. Yeah. No, it's nuts. That and the, that new bail reform law is crazy. They had a, so, the wife's a state trooper. They had a guy, a guy come in, or guy threatened to, got in the fight in the parking lot, threatened to kill another guy. He chased him around the parking lot with a, with, with a kitchen knife. <laughs> screaming, I'm going to kill you. They go and arrest him, take him to the court. They can't, they couldn't hold him. Like, you know, like put him in jail until his trial. They're like, all right, well, we gotta let you go as long as you promise not to kill him, not to kill anybody. Do you promise not to kill? Wow. And the guy's like, are, even the criminal is like, are you serious? This is nuts. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna kill anybody. <laughs> all right, see ya. <laughs> Come back in, you know, wow. three weeks for Holy your court crap. date. What a joke! Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to make your, your I don't oh, want to make man. this all a political talk. No, it's fine. It's whatever's it's, going it's on. Crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, that was like. And what's funny about this? This is kind of just normal video. If you and I were side by side, it'd be the same same stuff anyway. It's just yeah. you know, I think people I think people will enjoy having the view of what you know what you see versus I see. It's probably interesting to have a scene of scenery for once. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's. By the way, the road the, the road I was on fed into Lebanon, so I'm now I'm in Lebanon trying to find a spot I can do a zero to sixty pull, which is probably gonna be like another five minutes from now. All right, I'm a, I'm on a I think it's State Route Three. I'm right. I'm just cruising around Lake Ontario. Well, so uh, what else is going on? What, what are you What are you up to as far as your any trips this year? Or are you just trying to stay alive at this point? Uh, I don't know. It's going to see what's open. I'm just passing a deer right now. He's staring at me. <laughs> Lots of deer up here, as you know. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, tons. I don't know. I don't, like, as far as I know, the Bennington, the one in June, isn't canceled, but it's looking like it's going to be. 
And he said, yeah. even if they do have it, they're at the point now where they can't do some of the banquets and stuff, and they'll do something different. But uh, I don't know. It's all going to de depend on how this plays out. I'm, I'm not too worried about the virus myself. It, actually, I kind of, I kind of hope I get it. That way, I can. I don't know. But maybe I'm not educated enough to fully understand this. But what little I do under what. Are you but that way you kind of got it off your plate then. Like it's, you know, it's, 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 it's over with as far as you're concerned. Right, well, like, you know, get it, get, you know, get your body used to it. And then say something like this comes back in 20 years, I'm in my late fifties. I won't die from it then because my body will have some sort of a resistance to it. You know what I mean? Right, exactly. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's. It's 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 a tough tough thing, right? I mean, your wife's probably you know she can't take off work, right? She just has to do her job, doesn't she? Yeah, no, she's got to be there, and yeah. So I, our house is pretty much a ticking time bomb with her bomb or with her job anyway, as far as us getting it. Yeah. Yeah. And I I, I, I I probably should have said that only because I don't want to take too much about your your personal life, no, but you're fine. you know I just in, in short, your your wife's an essential worker, you know, doing a a really important job, and she she just she has to be out there in the field with people. Right. Well, um, yeah, I, I, I know. It's and the problem I'm having is that the, the data it's just changing so damn fast. It's really hard to even keep track of what you know of what what's right from wrong and what's up and down. I mean, it's like every single day it gets worse and it gets better. It's like it's just hard to keep follow along. Right. No, I I, I was looking at it every day, and now I'm every third day. I'll check it out, see where we're at. Yep. It's, it's, the news channels are almost like a reality show now based around it. It's, cr it's, it's right. crazy. All right, I found a spot to pull off. So I'm gonna, so what do you want me to do? You want me to do uh, to 60? All right, one, two, three, go. There. <laughs> I just now hit it, I think. <laughs> no, I'm definitely slower than you. I hit it. I hit it in second gear. You hit it about two seconds before I did, and I was at, I had to get the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> that was pitiful. But remember, uh, you know, this was a. I think this bike probably still weighs 450 to 500 pounds. Oh, this thing's over And it's 500. a 750. But it's a 750cc motorcycle. All right, I got you there. Well, yours looks liquid cool, though. Um, let me turn around here so I don't lose you with the cell phone service. I'm gonna turn around this little park here. Um, Cause if I go any further, I'll lose you. But yeah, I think you've got me on displacement. Is yours uh is yours chain drive or shaft? Chain. Okay, so you've got more power there too. I've got lost through the the drive shaft. Yeah, I'll get up to the. I got a, I got, oh, I'm right here actually. I got a parking lot. I'm gonna pull around and just get off the bike so everybody, all the viewers can see what I'm riding as there, because everybody knows what you're riding. That's great, great timing actually, because I was doing the same thing. Uh. Although, right, she's off. BMW problems. I put the kickstand down in a bad spot, right? And it's a little deeper than I wanted it to be. And the problem is, when you pull the clutch lever to move the bike, it pulls the kickstand up. Really? <laughs> yeah. So That's nuts. It's it's kind of stupid. Let me make sure I'm still recording. Yeah. It's kind of stupid. It's like uh, it's a convenience feature, I, I guess, because when you pull the clutch, it's kind of nice to have the kickstand go up automatically. But at the same time, you sometimes you just want to move your bike around with the kickstand down. Right. Yeah. So I think that was a pretty. Honestly, I'm not too surprised that you were faster than me there because. You've got what, 250 more, no, 150 more cc's. Yep. You've got chain. You probably have a lighter yep. bike than me, I think. This thing's over 500 pounds, I'm pretty sure. Okay. This thing is, this thing's a hog. But, <laughs> but my, my rev limiter is around 8,000 RPM. Isn't yours around 10? Uh, nine and a half. Well, it doesn't, no, it doesn't have a rev okay. limiter. <laughs> it red lines at nine and a half oh. and grenades at 11. <laughs> <laughs> that end, you've got um, probably. I have to shift a lot. Like I can, I can actually run this thing in fifth gear at around thirty miles an hour, and it doesn't lug. It just, it just loves it. Oh really? 
So I think we just got a different tour, a totally different, you know, touring versus super sport. Oh yeah, this was the this was the hot dog back in the day. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, uh, I think we went for like 25 minutes. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good YouTube video, I think. Yeah. Uh, like 27 uh, minutes what, recording on my GoPro. I'll have to edit out all the, uh, well, all the, the starting couple minutes where we're trying to get it all figured out. But this is a lot of fun. Hopefully people actually like it and watch it. Yeah, I hope it works out. Yeah, I hope it works out. You could, you could uh, uh, put a drag race in the in the title. <laughs> Clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a CB900, is an F or an R? Uh, F, CB, a CB900F. I'll send you a couple... Versus K70. I'll, I'll send you a couple pictures off my cell phone. So I don't know if you can okay. put them in or make thumbnails out of them. Oh, yeah, that's right. I should do that now. I'm supposed to get a picture of uh, of me on the, on the bike. Oh, you want a picture of me on the bike? Well, whatever you want to do. We'll just do... Whatever, whatever feels right for you that we have our, uh, our selfies. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to get around somebody and have them do, take it for me. I'll have to go home and have the boys take a picture of it. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Well, I guess I'll let you go then for now. And uh, it's good to, good to chat with you. And uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll text you later. All right, sounds like a plan, man. All right, Matt, take care. All right, take it easy, bud. Bye. Bye, dude.